one of B-Shop's friends and big up Uche again for the heads up on this one. I already had it listed, but reminder nonetheless, big up you. Jeff Dye. Um, one part of the extended uh, Fig Boy Club community. Um, also one of the people that was legendary. He's one of the legendary features in that video of Brendan crying when his friends thank him for being a comedian. Remember that legendary video from the Shorb Show? Chin allegedly made this video in secret when Brendan released Gringo Pappy of all his family and friends, recorded a little video clip of them thanking him for being alive and doing comedy or some shit. And Jeff Dial is one of the features on there. But he's also a very big Brendan Shorb apologist and just a new friend out of the blue. And I'm also not mistaken, he's also... um. Somehow, I don't know why, but he happens to be the friend of um, Jeannie Buss, the lady involved with the LA Lakers, who's also now married to uh, Jay Moore. I don't know why her and Jeannie Buss are friends. I don't really know what's going on there. If I was J Jay Moore, I'd be a little bit like, mm, why are you friends with this guy? Did you fuck before? And blah, blah. Are you still fucking him behind my back? But, I mean, if I was Jay Moore, I'd be a little bit, mm, not sure what's going on there. Unless he's your son, why is he hanging around with you? Anyways, the headline question of the people. Comedian Jeff Dye charged with DUI after fleeing the scene of an accident after crashing into a tree. <laughs> Oi, great guy, never met him. So, it says here, there's Jeff Dye there looking like every bit of the clout chaser that he is, right? Guys that have that kind of haircut, that kind of hairstyle at that age with that bomber jacket, they're usually the kind of guy that's always in the background, you know. They can't. Oh! Wasn't Jeff Dye one, the part of the original Chris Alea crew? Jimbo, before Chris Alea got cancelled, he used to hang around with these white guys that all kind of looked like him. Do you remember? They all kind of abandoned him, obviously, when he got, you know, exposed, even though they probably all took part, allegedly, in his diddling. But remember, Chris. Chris D'Elia had like a group of dudes that all looked like him. Was Jeff Dye included in it? Or is that somebody else I'm thinking of? I swear he was part of that Chris D'Elia crew of guys. I swear he was. Maybe he was. Maybe I'm competing with somebody else. But anyway, doesn't matter. Um, never trust a guy with that type of comb over and wearing those type of bomber jackets, right? Personally. Anyway, let's continue. Jeff Dye was arrested over the weekend in California and charged with fleeing the scene of a traffic collision and driving under the influence, people.com can confirm. The 40-year-old, he's 40 years old. God damn, son. Um, Four-year-old comedian and television personality who currently hosts a syndicated Fox game show, Who the Bleep Is That?, was arrested on the misdemeanor charges by a Burbank Police Department on Sunday, October 8th at 9.56 a.m. local time and booked in Burbank jail nearly an hour later, according to public records. Bye-bye, that Fox gig. That was probably a cushy job, right? I've never heard of this show. But I'd imagine TV shows, game shows on fucking Fox probably pay a decent salary on the side of whatever you're making, doing stand-up and shit. That probably made life comfortable. No wonder he doesn't do podcasts as much. He's probably recording this show often. You know, it's probably syndicated. Yeah, it's syndicated. Fucking hell. Say bye-bye to that, that TV show, I'd assume. He was, released on he was released without bail at 1.04 p.m. after a magistrate review. The St. Hold on. So he got no. So he got. He's all right. He's in the free. Must be white, isn't it? Um, Sergeant Stephen Turner, a public information officer from Burbank Police, told people that authorities responded to a single collision um, at the Pass Avenue, Almeda Avenue, at nine thirty in the morning. He was drunk at half nine in the morning. <laughs> I'm hoping it was from the night before. Hoping it wasn't in the morning, because if that's him in the morning on on the way to work, loaded. That's horrible. It's horrible either way. But it'll be more understandable if this happened on the way back home from the club or something. But if, if he's driving... Oh, God. Oh my. Anyway, I don't know. Witnesses relayed the driver of a white Tesla. <laughs> Brendan always says, piss out people in Teslas. Look at him. Collided with a tree and the driver fled on foot. Based on whistle descriptions, the driver also... Sorry, was okay just a few blocks east of the scene and detained pending investigation. Didn't someone say on my um, stream before, what's the American law around DUIs? Is there a law that says there's like a loophole where if you actually leave the scene of the crime, you can't get breathalyzed? Is that true? Or am I bugging? Let me know in the stream chat. If you get, if you're drink driving, you get involved in an accident and you leave the scene of the crime, 
can you not get breathalyzed still? Does that count? Or am I or am I completely missing it? There's some weird little loophole that exists there. Let me know in the stream chat if I'm actually talking on my ass or if there's some truth in what I say. Gerard Melerick, um, no. <laughs> Are you sure? I swear I heard that that was true. All right. They, like you can't be charged with it because you could have got drunk any time or am I mistaken I don't know let me know in the chat I'll continue after speaking with witnesses and taking Dye's statement the stand up was arrested and booked no other vehicle was involved and nobody was injured a source tells people that those close to Dye are concerned for him and hope he gets the help he needs oh so he's an alcoholic uh huh Reach for comment, Jeff Dye's lawyer, Andrew B. Levenfall, told people, although no one was injured, this is a traumatic event for, tr for Jeff. We ask that we reserve judgment and respect his privacy as I take the care of his, as I take care of his mother, of, oh, I said of his matter, of his mother, of this matter, he is a, he is presumed innocent. Hmm. Huh. Dye was a finalist in the sixth season of NBC Last Comic Standing. He followed his show series with tours leading to a half hour comedy special in 2010. That same year, Dye was tapped to host MTV's Numb Nuts, a Seattle native, appeared a number of game shows, hosting shows, also recurred in Girl Code. Other notable appearances include ABC's Extreme Makeover, Fox's Mars Singer, I Can See Your Voice. He's got quite a lot of credits, isn't it? Shit. NBC's Better Late Than Lynn Never, look opposite Whitney, William Shatner and Terry Bradshaw's and George Freeman and Harry Winkler. He currently hosts Jeff Dye's Friendship Podcast and co-hosts Wrestling with Freddy and Freddie Prince Jr. Professional Wrestling Based Podcast too. Wow, bro. He's got a lot of good credits. Right? Um, he, he's, he kissed some woman called Christine Cavallari. Da, 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 da. So what do you guys think? Is that is that true I'm saying about the thing? Um... Jesse L says, I saw him a few years ago, he got me with one of those free tickets. Not good. He was practically begging the audience to stick around. <laughs> Trap drinks with him. Oh no. Saw so Jeff at a packed club for night and he got sloppy drunk during his. Wasted by the end. He bombed real bad too. Terrible holiday event. Oh no. Let me, tell you, hold on, let me tell you one more time because it kind of cut out there and I've got the filter up too loud. I'm sorry for those of your ears that blew. The filter was still high from the previous girl. Apologies. Let's play it one more time. Big up, Uche. Saw Jeff at a packed club for night and he got sloppy drunk during his set and was completely wasted by the end. He bombed real bad too. Terrible holiday event. This is a bad review. Big up, Uche, because you said exactly the same thing that Jesse L said in the stream chat also. Saw him a few years ago. They got me with one of those free tickets. Not good. He was practically begging the audience to stick around and have drinks with him. So clearly there's an issue here with drinking. And do you remember the story that he said about on the King and the Stick? No, so um, what is it called? Um, the Golden Hour. Do you remember? Did he say that story about how he likes to fuck girls at after comedy club sets and shit? They just hook up randomly with random girls and shit. That sounded like somebody that likes to get on it, right? Like, I've been a party boy. I've had my fun. And I know those events where you just end up in fucking random people's houses <laughs> and shit are usually at the end of, like, drug and, dr drug and drink binges. So if he's doing that, God damn it, Jeff. Fucking hell, mate. Um, anyway, what was I saying about the thing? About drink driving? Um, no, I feel like if there's an admission of guilt, even they can't be breath... Sorry. NJ Ranger says, no, I feel like if anything, it's an admission of guilt, even if they can't breathalyze you. Oh, that you ran away. Okay, true. Okay. Fleeing, but you can fight the DUI. Hold on. Let's just Google this because I swear I found this out to be true. DUI. If you flee, can you be proceed? No, can you be breathalyzed? Sorry, that's it. Breathalyze, uh, breathalyze right? No, let's do it's an American way with a Z. Breathalyze US. Because I'm sure that I, I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure. So this is. um. Uh, okay, this is what? Virginia. Virginia DUI lawyers. Okay, let's see what this means. I don't know if this isn't applying for all, all places, but. So let's see what they say here. Virginia law firm. Is it a crime to flee the scene of a DUI? Most people feel panicked after a car accident and their flight or flight response might kick in. Um, what happens after an accident? After an accident, the parties involved typically... Okay, we don't care about that. What happens if I flee? Why fleeing from a scene is bad? Fleeing the scene of a DUI 
is a very risky decision for several reasons. For starters, the fleeing of the scene of an accident for any reason raises questions about the guilt or liability. Ah, NJ Ranger, they've got you. See, you're right there. In other words, police may interpret the absence of the other party in a DUI as an admission of guilt. Okay, cool. Um, additionally, fleeing a scene means that you means that you don't you do not have sorry the ability to collect your own evidence or clear your name with negative breathalyzer test. However, while fleeing of fear and desperation are natural, lead to a need for control in this situation, you must contact an attorney. So instead of fleeing the scene, you should immediately contact your lawyer and refuse to um, refuse to what's that word called? Cooperate with the police or just point them to your lawyer in terms of explanation, right? Give no evidence on at the scene, um, lawyer, um, refer to your counsel, blah, 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 blah. I had no idea. I swear, what, why do I remember, again, maybe too much podcast. Why do I think I heard someone say, if you flee the scene of a crime? No, because I thought about John Jones. You remember when John Jones crashed into that pregnant lady? Didn't he flee the scene of a crime? What happened there? Why didn't he get put in prison for that? Do you guys remember that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm redacted, man. I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. But yeah, it seems like by the reviews on the line and what people are saying here in the chat and stuff and other comments that Jeff Dye might have um, one of those... Uh, what's that? What, what's his name again? Might have a Jimmy Fallon issue, isn't it? Right? They say that. Is it Jimmy Fallon? One of those live show hosts is a bit of a drinker, right? He likes his booze. Um, so maybe that's kind of what is on this situation. Who knows? Uh, you're supposed to flee and drink at home, <laughs> big old space guy. But yeah, exactly, NJ Ranger, bro, you still on? You have to be a record stream all these days. Yep, yeah, big up. You have to record a stream one of these days. Yeah, I do. I do record them. They're going to be alive later, my friend, uh, Booth McGee. We're going to be ready later, my friend. Um, admission of guilt that you crashed a car that you need, that you weren't drunk. Very true, John M. Depending on the accident, if there's a victim, you could be jailed and tested for toxicity in jail. <sighs> And what are the what are the DUI laws in in California? By the way, I want to know that. What is it? Uh, DUI laws in California. <clears throat> um, what are they? Oh, these are all sponsored posts. It is illegal to drive if you are uh, BAC. I guess that's blood alcohol, whatever, higher than zero point zero eight percent or higher. If you're over, isn't that really small percent? Isn't that like a couple of beers? I don't know about blood alcohol if I don't drive. Isn't that really small? You could get a DUI for having one beer or, or like at, at work. Or am I bugging? Isn't that really small amount? 0.08%. Shit. Um, da, 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 da. What's the punishment though? What's the penalty here? What's the penalty? The penalty here. Between $390 $390 and 1,000, what are common punishments? Three common punishments of DUI include three years probation, a fine, and a mandatory completion of a 30-hour first offender alcohol program. So you probably won't end up in prison. You probably get a fine or something, right? And maybe his license revoked or some shit. Okay, people are saying, yeah, what is it? Uh, if you get free, you drive, you, drive, you can you be a felony. Fuck, I didn't know that. You can get felony for a DUI. Yeah, less exactly. Don't drink and drive. Okay, oh, it's only a couple of drinks. One or two. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's tough. Because, you know, sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but working in startups, there's always that culture sorry, of, like, having drinks after work on a Thursday or Friday. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. And you can easily have a drink on after work on a Thursday and, you know, shit, man. Shit, 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 shit. Um, anyway, let's continue this. So Jeff Dye is in, in trouble. Uh, big up Jeff Dye, I guess, in